Welcome back. Today we're talking about Templeton Rise Barrel Strength 2022 114.6 proof here on the channel next. Welcome back. Like I said earlier, we're talking about today's Templeton Rise 2022 barrel proof coming in at 114.6 proof. It is bottled and distributed from Templeton Rye, they're out of Iowa, but the liquid inside is MGP, says it on the back. It's a blend of undisclosed barrels aged in new char American oak. It is mm, 95 rye, 5% 5 malted barley, and the MSRP is 60 bucks. I picked this up at my local um, Total Wine in Novi. Figured I had the 10 year old Templeton right, and I really, really enjoyed that. So I figured why not kind of branch out and see what the barrel strength one was going to taste like. So this has been sitting out about 20 minutes. So let's get into our nose. You ever open up a green banana, like you get it from the grocery store and you kind of pop it open and it has that astringent, like young banana note? That's what that smells like. Has a little bit of a tropical note, but not much. Like a green grape, and a slight spicy bready note. I don't know if the camera can see this. It's got some legs. It's sticking to the glass pretty good, but they come down and they're just, that's it. You can see it's kind of like a light amber. Talked a little bit about the bottle, talked a little bit about the company, but like I always like to say, what's the juice like inside? Let's get to our first taste. You get a little bit of oak tannins. It's got a spicy kick. Like if you've ever had um, sushi and you get the horseradish or if you like fresh horseradish like I do on some of my sausages, you get that punch right in the mid palate and it coasts back and it kind of still lingers there. It's really good. Um, also, it's like if you had a spicy molasses cookie. It hits the mid palate, coasts back a little, but then it sort of fades. And the aftertaste, honestly, is um, a little cast irony. I know it sounds weird. Um, it's not bad. It's not great. I mean, for $60, like I said, a total wine, it wasn't bad. And I really liked the 10-year-old Templeton rye. Let's get into a second taste. Yeah, the, the tannins are there. The oak tannins really opens your nostrils. You get that, like that horseradishy kick, real good. And then, like I said, that kind of molassesy spice cookie note, and then it just kind of finishes. The Kentucky hug is kind of right here, and then it, as it gets here, it just kind of sits. There's no real boost. There's no real. I mean, this would be great probably around a campfire say late September, early November, before you get like on a hayride. Would I buy it again? Probably not. I've already had two bottles of the 10 year old, which I loved, absolutely loved. It was worth the 70 plus dollars. This one, I would have to say try before you buy. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't 10 year old good. There is really, like I said, there's no age statement on this. So you don't really know if is it five years, six years, 10 years, but I mean, for a $60 bottle, I mean, I've definitely had worse rise that were this and more, but it's not bad. I would definitely try before you buy. I'm your host, Brian. Like I always say, find a bottle, open the bottle, enjoy the bottle because good whiskey is always meant to be shared. Thanks for watching. I'll talk with you all soon.